Calypso is a robot programming framework that puts real AI into the hands of kids. So they get to experience directly things like computer vision, object recognition, face recognition, speech recognition, speech generation, landmark-based navigation, because we use a mobile robot, the Cosmo robot, which is essentially a, a self-driving car that fits in the palm of your hand. So these are advanced AI concepts. These, these things, the algorithms behind these are developed by PhDs in research labs. But we're making these algorithms available to children so kids as young as eight can use Calypso to program a robot that has all these capabilities. And as they do that, they learn about them. What is the robot able to see? What, what can't the robot see? How well can the robot understand your speech? How well can the robot recognize your face? How well can it detect emotion? They get to play with all these things and synthesize them into projects that they design themselves. And along the way, they also learn computer programming because they're, they're writing Calypso rules to make the robot do what they want it to do. Well, the target market is kids who are interested in, in intelligent robots. And everybody loves robots. So when, when kids see the Cosmo robot, they're immediately excited and want to play with it. But they get even more excited when they realize that they can tell the robot what to do. They can, they can make up something they want the robot to do, and they can give the robot instructions and actually make it do it and see the robot do what they said to do. That's just tremendously empowering for kids. So it's not just educational, but it's also really fun for them. So Calypso is a rule-based language. It was inspired by something called Kodu Game Lab that was created by Microsoft, Microsoft Research. So you can think of Calypso as uh, Kodu for robots. Um, it's a, it's a free, fairly straightforward language that where every rule has a when part and a do part. And by stringing these rules together, uh, students can create complex behaviors. One of the things that I think is the least appreciated about Calypso is that it teaches computational thinking, which is not the same as computer programming. So computational thinking is an ability to reason about what the computer is doing. So the, the representations, the algorithms inside the computer, to understand them, to be able to mentally simulate them, to be able to predict the computer's behavior. This is really the thing that separates the mind of the programmer from the non mind of the non-programmer. Programmers intuitively understand that everything happens for a reason, that there are laws that govern the behavior of the computer, and if you know the laws, you know what the computer will do. Whereas to a non-programmer, it all looks like magic or a black box. So we really want children to become computational thinkers, to learn to think like a programmer. It's, it's not the only mode of thinking. There are many other modes of thinking that are important too, artistic, for example, musical modes, literary modes. But, but technology and computer programming is an important mode of thinking. And what Calypso does, because of the, the way that the, uh, the Calypso laws are organized and because of the way we teach the laws of Calypso, it makes it very easy for children to become computational thinkers. And that's a benefit that I think is underappreciated right now, but as we continue to develop Calypso and the curriculum, I think people will have a better appreciation of it. Well, we've understood for a long time that children can uh, learn better when they're, when they're actively engaged in the learning. So instead of just listening to somebody lecture, if they're making something or, cre or creating something, expressing their own interests, uh, that's a much more effective way to get them to learn. So with Calypso, they can uh, pick some project they want to illustrate, like maybe say how a bakery works. And then they can, they can realize their ideas by programming the robot to simulate, say, working in a bakery. And so they get to combine the vision, the speech, speech recognition, speech generation, the navigation, all these things come together. And they get a robot to do all this. And, and you know they're doing things that uh, a decade ago would have required a graduate student to do. And they're doing these things in, in third, fourth, fifth grade. Mm -hmm. and, and they're having fun doing it. Uh, so, fun. so that's the real innovation. Well, one thing we'd like to do is extend Calypso to include uh, machine learning so that kids can learn about machine learning hands-on directly. And so we, we have plans to add machine learning capabilities so that Cosmo, the Cosmo robot, will be able to learn new things and the, the kids can teach Cosmo new things.